Hello friends, so in this uh, session we are going to solve another CBSC uh, problem. Uh, this is CBSC 2010 mathematics uh, paper problem and it is related to geometry. So the problem says in the given figure if PQ is parallel to BC, so uh, this point is C, this point is C. So hence in the given figure PQ is parallel to BC and PR is parallel to CD. So this PR is parallel to CD and PQ is parallel to BC. Uh, then prove that AR by AD, so this, this AR upon AD is equal to AQ upon AB. So those who have dealt with uh, triangles and similar triangles and uh, theorems related to that, uh, they will, you know, it will strike to them in the very first instance of um, looking at this problem that this problem requires the use of basic proportionality theorem. So what is basic proportionality theorem? Just a quick recap. So basic proportionality, proportionality theorem, which is also called the Thales theorem. Thales theorem, Thales theorem. What is this? It's nothing but if there is a triangle, if there is a triangle ABC, a B C and there is a line D C D E sorry D E and D E is parallel to the third side B C then then we know that A D upon D B is equal to A E upon E C. This is basic proportionality theorem. So we'll be using this theorem to prove this problem. Okay. So uh, what's given? So given you should write first. Given is whatever is given. So if you can see PQ is parallel to BC. PQ is parallel to BC. This is one. And then PR is parallel to CD. Okay. Now to prove you should be writing these steps. So to prove first is AR upon AD is equal to AQ on AB. Let's try and prove this first. So how to prove? So proof. Let's try to find the proof. So if you see in triangle ABC, what is given? It's given that PQ is parallel to BC, isn't it? It's given here PQ is parallel to BC. So if that is so, then you can write by using by using Thales theorem or basic proportionality theorem. In the first instance, please try to write the theorem's name in full, basic proportionality, proportionality theorem. And then you can always put an acronym along with it so that you can use it later on. So by using basic proportionality theorem, we know that, what do we know? AQ upon QB will be equal to AP upon EC, isn't it? Similarly, you can say similarly, similarly in triangle ADC, ADC, AD, sorry, PR is parallel to CD. It's given, where is given? Here it is given, PR is parallel to CD. Then using, using BPT, you can write now, using BPT, you can say, AP upon PC is equal to AR upon RD. Isn't it? So this let, let this be equation number one and this be relation number two. And now we'll proceed further. So you can say now using using 1 and 2 we can say if you see ap by pc ap by pc appears in both the relations so you can write write aq upon qb is equal to ar upon rd and then a aq upon qb is equal to ar upon rd I have to prove AR by AD actually. So you have to prove AR by AD. So what I can do is 
the same relation can be written as if you inverse it so invert endo you'll use qb by aq is equal to rd by ar why did i do, do this you'll get to understand in a moment now what you do is add one to both sides so qb plus aq plus one is equal to rd upon ar plus one and this will lead to qb plus qb plus aq divided by aq is equal to rd plus ar divided by ar now let's have a glimpse of the picture so that you can uh, understand it better so if you see from the figure qb plus aq qb plus aq will be nothing but ab so i can write it here ab and aq stays in the denominator rd plus ar ar plus rd is nothing but ad and then this is ad upon ar ad upon ar and then again you can invert them to say aq upon ab is equal to ar upon ad ar ar upon ad is equal to aq by ab so this was what was required as first yeah so hence proved hence proved the first part is proved okay what about the second one second one says qb upon aq so qb qb upon aq so if you see you just need to uh, uh, in fact you had already proved proved that why because qb upon aq you can say aq upon qb uh, here it is already proven right so if you see qb upon aq is equal to rd upon ar so this has already been proved here yeah so you can hear here itself you, you would have mentioned that uh, this is proof for proof for part two okay so these two relations were to be established and then you have established it so what's the learning so uh, basically the moment uh, we see triangles and parallel lines and uh, ratios around sides are uh, you know uh, involved then you know uh, there's a hint that you can use basic proportionality theorem or Thales theorem to prove the required relations thanks for watching this video